Welcome to our lecture online. The next JE main question on the test involves knowledge of what an RC circuit looks like and what it does, what the effect of an RC circuit is. So let's read the question and see if we can figure out the answer. An RC circuit, as shown in the figure, and that did provide a figure in the, with the test, is driven by an AC source generating a square wave. So here we have a square wave generator input into an RC circuit and it's being monitored by a CRO. Now what does CRO stands for? It's a cathode ray oscilloscope. It's an old-fashioned oscilloscope. The modern oscilloscopes of course are digital now. The output wave pattern monitored by the CRO would look close to and they give us four possible answers. So what we're doing here is we're measuring the voltage essentially on, on the capacitor, which would be proportionate to the amount of charge loading onto the capacitor. So as soon as the wave goes high, we push current through the circuit, the capacitor begins to charge up, and as it has more and more charge, the voltage will then climb. And then as the square wave goes down, either it reverses it or it goes to zero. I'm not sure what the deal is here. So it could simply be positive, zero, positive, zero, which is fine. But as soon as we go positive or we go in the opposite direction, we go negative, then the current flows in the opposite direction and then the capacitor will then discharge. And then again in the, in the forward direction, it'll charge and it will discharge, charge and discharge. So that's what is going to happen with capacitor. So what does the charging capacitor look like or at least the voltage across the charging capacitor? Well, the voltage on the capacitor will charge like this. So if the input voltage suddenly jumps over here, then the voltage across the capacitor will increase until all the voltage of the source will be across the capacitor and not across the resistor because there, no, there will be no current flowing on that. And if we have voltage across the capacitor and it discharges, it will look like this. So if this is the initial voltage, the discharging capacitor voltage across the capacitor will look like this. So now when we put those two together, charging, discharging, charging, discharging, well the only solution that they gave that kind of looks like this would be answer B. So it's simply realizing that capacitors charge like this, discharge like this, charge, discharge, charge, discharge, and so therefore that must be the answer to this particular problem. So you could probably crank this one out in just a few seconds just realizing what a charging and discharging capacitor looks like as far as the voltage across it as it charges up and then as it discharges. And that is how it's done. That's a fast one.